Nicola Sturgeon has been warned against picking fights with the UK government by the leader of the Scottish Conservative Party. Douglas Ross slammed Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon for failing to get the £700 million worth of funding from Chancellor Rishi Sunak out to Scottish businesses. He added that businesses in Scotland are struggling due to the strict coronavirus restrictions imposed by the Scottish government. Mr Ross said, I was really concerned that the First Minister and the Scottish Government seemed to be looking to pick fights with the UK Government over funding when we all know £700 million was made available to the Scottish Government by Chancellor Rishi Sunak very recently. But that money is not getting out to businesses yet. So my question to the First Minister is, why is that funding not getting out to businesses right now? Pick your fights in the future with the UK government, if you want to, but let's prioritise getting support out to businesses now. There are hundreds of millions of pounds available to the Scottish government that could be directed to businesses right now, today. We need to get that money out and we need to get it out now to support the businesses that are struggling right now. Earlier today, Ms Sturgeon raged at Chancellor Rishi Sunak as she accused the UK government of failing to support Scotland through the coronavirus pandemic. Ms Sturgeon insisted that Scotland has seen not a penny so far in support as she demanded further action to help face the financial consequences of the COVID-19 crisis. As she announced new support measures for business, Ms Sturgeon said, this support package matches that announced by the Chancellor for businesses in England. Businesses in Scotland deserve nothing less but there is one point I am duty bound to make today. The Chancellor's commitment to England was open-ended. He will pay whatever the demand for business is for as long as necessary. I think that's right and proper. He's able to do that because he can borrow the money Toto it. The Scottish Government can't do that.